I am going to show you, I'm going to show you all how to make almost $2 million just by living at your house, just by being there, just by hanging out, folks. Yeah, $2 million. There is a reason homeowners, by and large, statistically, are way more wealthy than people who rented for their entire lives, right? Just by having a house owning the roof over your head, you're going to make two million bucks, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works on a line-by-line -line basis right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise and today I'm working with my man Nick. Nick is out of the Cleveland market. And Nick, I'm going to have you make two milli, baby. Two milli with this little house right here. Well, it's not even not really a little house. It's just the picture's little. Let me, let me zoom that bad boy in. This is actually a four-unit apartment building, bro. And even better than the fact that it is a four-unit apartment building, it's actually set up like four townhouses. So it's like one here, one here, one here, one here. They all have a main floor, a second floor, and their own basement. Separate basements, right? So it's basically like four townhouses crammed together, and that is really cool. Now, I'm going to show you how to buy this, live there, spend almost no money, and make $2 million over the course of your life, bro. It's called house hacking. Here's a little shot of the garage, and it is what the smart people do, right? Guys, if you are trying uh, to create a decent net worth for yourself, free up money. This is how you do it, right? This is the smart way to do things, right? I bought my first house when I was 21 years old, right? If you're not buying the roof that's over your head, folks, you're pissing money away, okay? Now, here's the thing. Nick, you reached out to me because you wanted me uh, to show you how to work the house hacking strategy and you wanted me to do so with the idea that you were going to get a duplex, okay? And you were going to Airbnb the other one. Uh, and I did two of those videos for you. But this one, like I said, it's four units. And I'm not going to run the numbers as an Airbnb because I don't actually believe that this particular property uh, would be a great candidate uh, for Airbnb rentals. You have to understand for Airbnb to work, it has to be somewhere where the people are going to want to do short-term stays. And I don't really see the draw in this particular building, but that's okay because you don't have to do Airbnb, right? You just rent it long term. You don't have to pay for furniture. You don't have to do all the turns. There's a lot less work out of you. And as you'll see, I could still generate you $2 million. Now, here's how this whole thing would play out, brother. The property is 604 Poplar Avenue. It's in Canton, Ohio. They've listed at $309,900. Now, I'm going to try to pick it up for you for a little bit better. I think we could pick this up for 300k. And here's the cool, the cool thing, right? A lot of people that are like, "Oh, okay, it's great. This guy's going to show us how to live for free, make 2 million dollars. Great." But I don't have $300,000, man. Like, thanks, bro. Cool. How are you trying to help me? I don't got freaking 300 grand. That's why I rent. Folks, you don't need $300,000. This is real estate. All you need is a good credit score and a decent W-2 income, and the bank's going to give you almost all the money. My man Nick, right, you already got approved for a 95% loan. That means you only got to put down 5%. So this $300,000 property, all you have to do is come up with fifteen grand, man. If you don't got fifteen grand today, folks, save. If you can't save, get a second job driving Uber for six months, right? Figure it out. It's only $15,000. If you're working 60 hours a week right now and you can't save, start working 90 hours a week until you get fifteen grand. because after that, you're going to save for the rest of your life to the tune of $2 million. Okay, here's how. With this particular property, Nick, you're going to live in one of the units, right? And then the other three units, which guess what? Coincidentally, right now, three units 
are occupied with long-term tenants and one is vacant. Now, the current rents are a little lower than market, but I have put down the market rent for you to give you the long-term trajectory of this, right? So you're going to live in one unit, cover your home base because, you know, you have to live somewhere, folks, obviously, right? And then you're going to collect $2,400 a month in rent from your other three tenants. That is almost 30K a year. That's $28,800. Then... We're going to factor in some fixed and variable expense estimates. You're doing all the PM, you're cleaning up, you're taking out the trash, you're cutting the grass, you're doing all that jazz. So you don't have to pay a PM company. Uh, but there's still going to be vacancy, and eventually you're going to evict people, so we're going to factor that in. And when it all gets shaken out, I anticipate you making approximately $19,706 a year. But you don't get to keep all 19,000 folks cuz remember you didn't have 300 grand which who does right no 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 you only have 15 grand that's okay right but you got to pay the loan back but those tenants are going to help you do so right so you got a $285,000 loan okay so your NOI for the the month your average is 1642 and now you got a brand new $1200 mortgage okay so that leaves you with free cash flow $440. So not only do you not have to pay rent, you actually get 440 bucks. And when you factor in the amount of money you're saving on rent, right? Because if you're not living in your own house for free, getting $440 a month, you'd have to pay somebody else 800 bucks unless you want to live with your mom till you're 50. And I'm assuming you don't want to live with your mom till you're 50 because I'm guessing at some point in your life, you're going to want to touch some boobs. And it's probably real hard to touch some boobs when you're 50 and you live in your mom's basement. So uh, we're going to factor the $800 in there, right? So that leaves you with 1240 okay? That is $14,880 in effective return slash effective savings. That's almost all your money, right? That's 99.2% of your investment made back in one year. So for you people out there like, no, I got 15 grand. Drive Uber, bro. I already work 40 hours a week. Great, work 70. I already work 70. Great, work 100, bro, because you only got to do it for one year and then it's all free money from then on, rest of your life, okay? I did my first house hack when I was 21 years old, okay? So we're going to use that. Let's assume you're going to live till 80. Maybe you don't eat as many chicken wings as I do and your blood pressure ain't as high, so you're going to kick till 80. I don't know if I'm going to make it to 80. I really love buffalo sauce, you know what I'm saying? I love that blue cheese, too, so I don't know if I'll make it to 80, but Nick... You, you strike me as a guy that likes CrossFit. So you're going to make it to 80, big dog. All right? So that means you'd own this house. If you bought it at 21, live till 80, 59 years. Okay? So 14,880 times 59, that's 877,920. Right? But here's the cool thing. Mortgages, folks. That mortgage I showed you, that's a 30-year mortgage. So you're going to have that mortgage. And then once you're done with the mortgage, you can do another mortgage on it. Just refi it out. So you're going to get another 285 grand back again. Okay? So you got your 877, another 285, and now you're 80. And you're like, all right, dog, I'm about to kick the bucket. So I'm going to sell my house or, you know, I'm croaking and I'm giving it to my kids or my grandkids. Because remember, you moved out of your mom's house well before 50, so you theoretically probably touched a couple boobies and probably made a couple babies. So now you get to give your family... 600k where did i get 600k from well it's worth 300k right now I assume in the next 60 freaking years it probably at least doubles in value if somebody's out there like well you know statistically can you guarantee that no of course i can't guarantee what's going to happen in 60 years people i'm not going to live till 80 number one number two I'm not 21 years old, if you can't tell from the gray hair in my beard, so I'm going to be long freaking dead, uh, you know, when this comes, this theoretical situation. Well, half theoretical, half real. It is a real property, but I don't 100% know how old you are, Nick. I think you're in your late 20s, but we're using the example of 21 uh, because that's when I bought it and, you know, because that's just what we're doing, okay? Don't question it. Moral of the story, though. I'm guesstimating here. It's probably going to be worth 600 k in the next 60 years, but again... I don't know for sure. I mean, shit. You know what I watched yesterday? I watched uh, Blade Runner 2049, pretty dope movie, which is basically the sequel of the original Blade Runner, which was made in 
1982, and you see the original Blade Runner made in 1982 was set in 2019, right? So it's basically 40 years in the future. And I don't know if anybody out there has watched Blade Runner, but they predicted a way different future 40 years out than what really happened in the world, right? So I'm predicting 60 years out, your property's going to be worth at least double. I feel like I'm like getting pretty conservative in my predictions when comparing to that. But the moral of the story is it's kind of hard to tell 60 years into the future, guys. If anybody out there is trying to teach you about finance and they're trying to guarantee you things in the future 60 freaking years out when they're going to be long dead like my fat ass, you probably might not want to listen to them. But moral of the story, we know for a fact you'll be able to bring in that 877 and then the refi again, that's 285 and then your kids or your grandkids or whatever, they get the 600K because you croaked and you let them sell the free, free and clear property. That comes out to about 1,762,920. We're going to round up because we're friends. It's 2 million, folks, 2 million. You just, over the course of your life, added $2 million to your net worth. And what did you do, Nick? What did you do? Nothing. All you did was save up 15 grand by working some extra hours for one year in your 20s and then you didn't piss away your money on rent for the next friggin' 59, 60 years of your life. That's it, folks. That's all you got to do. You have to live somewhere while you're alive. We could all agree on that. So why? Why would you ever live in your landlord's house and let him generate this type of money when you could live in your own house, right? Over the course of your life, what could you do differently if you have an additional $2 million, right? And what I just explained to you guys, what I just laid out, what I did right there, this is a real property. It is really available. Nick, you, of course, can buy it. Let me know if you want to buy it. I will put in the offer for you. Everybody else who's watching Nick's show, you need to understand for you all, this was nothing other than an educational experience. This property's long gone. I sent this to Nick privately, okay? He's a local cat in the same town I'm at. I sent it to him privately. We're going to work together on the deal in real time if he wants to add this $2 million to his life, right? You guys, if you want to work with me in real time to invest in the Cleveland market, you can do so by clicking the notes below and booking a free call with my team because this one only gets released, this video right now. I'm like... Blade Runner, dude. I'm in the future, right? You see this video? You're not seeing this video for like at least six months after I did it. So, I mean, yeah. Moral of the story is if you buy a house, you get $2 million and James Wise is basically Blade Runner. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.